We are here at 3,400 meters at Ponte Hellbronner to test the difference between oval and round chain rings in terms of force effectiveness, total force, effective force, pedal kinematics, as well as oxygen consumption and ventilation. We're comparing all these parameters at two different altitudes, 3,400 meters and 800 meters. The reason we're doing that, because we know from the literature, the higher up the mountain you climb, the performance declines. However, not many cyclists know why they get fatigued at higher altitudes. My name is Dr. Borut Fonda, I'm a program director at Cycling Science and an assistant professor at the University of Primorska, Slovenia. We're using one-of-a-kind force pedals called Forpet. Forpet allows you to comprehensively analyze the pedaling stroke. It does that by measuring forces in 3D dimensions as well as torque and pedaling kinematics. And it measures all that with a very high level of accuracy. Everything is acquired wirelessly at a very high sample rate of 450 Hz, wirelessly transmitted via Bluetooth to a very user-friendly and smart application on a tablet. Have all the parameters of force effectiveness, total force application, mediolateral force, as well as stability on the pedal are automatically calculated immediately when the trial is done. What we have here is the data on oxygen consumption on the left side and ventilation on the right side. Blue bars represent oval chain rings, whereas orange bars represent round chain rings. We can see quite a substantial difference in oxygen consumption as well as in ventilation between the two different types of chain rings. So the data on force effectiveness displays very nice difference as well between oval and round chain rings. On the left side here, what we see is the force effectiveness of the first quarter of the pedal stroke. That is from the top dead center to 90 degree. And we can see here for the oval chain rings, there is a, a force effectiveness is increased compared to round chain rings in the orange bars. On the right side, we have the information on force effectiveness of the second quarter, where the difference is even more substantial between oval and round chain rings. And this is essentially uh, the biggest difference in pedal stroke analysis uh, that also explain why there is a drop in oxygen consumption and ventilation using oval chain rings. The results here at 3,400 meters showed quite a substantial difference between oval and round chain rings. The most visible difference was in oxygen consumption with 7% drop and in ventilation with almost a 15% drop using oval chain rings compared to round chain rings. Now when we comprehensively analyzed the pedal stroke, we found out that there was much less total force generation in the first and second quarter of the pedal stroke. This essentially means that was the effectiveness, the force effectiveness of pedaling was increased using oval chain rings compared to round chain rings. Essentially, to wrap up, it means at high altitudes using oval chain rings, you consume less energy at the same power output, and you can ride for longer and or faster. After repeating the trials on 800 meter altitude, we have found the exactly same trend when comparing round and oval chain rings like we did on 3,400 meters. It's interesting to note that there was a 30% increase in ventilation and a 10% increase in heart rate when comparing high altitudes to low altitude. This essentially means that the rider had to get more air into the lungs and pump more blood to the muscles to deliver the same amount of oxygen to the working muscles. This is a requirement to sustain the given power output. And the latter is evident in almost identical oxygen consumption when comparing high altitudes to low altitudes. 
Our data show that the higher you climb, the more effort you have to put in. Therefore, it's important to maximize efficiency and effectiveness, and you can improve both of them by using oval chain rings according to our study. Try an oval and never look back. Absolute Black.